Hello everyone. In this video I will discuss one of the films called Last Sunrise, 2019, and never forget that I always pray for you and your family to be happy and healthy always. The film begins with a man waking up from his sleep. The AI program on his watch gives a warning that it's already nine in the morning. The man is named Sun Yang, a young astronomer working from home to observe the stars. With the help of an AI named Ilsa, Sun analyzes data about the recently disappeared KIC 846 star. This phenomenon goes against the first law of thermodynamics, where energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only transformed. Ilsa concludes that the data found is invalid, but Sun Yang is convinced that the star has indeed disappeared suddenly. To confirm this, Sun Yang takes the opportunity to inquire about it at a Q&A session with the CEO of Helios, a solar energy company involved in astronomy. Sun Yang recounts the phenomenon of the KIC 846 star disappearing abruptly. The CEO denies the discovery, claiming they have never found the star he mentioned. Shortly after, Sun Yang notices anomalies when he is outside his apartment, where the sun and solar panels around him start flickering. While others ignore it, Sun Yang appears panicked because he knows it is not something normal. The next day, Sun Yang wakes up to an emergency notification from his computer. Ilsa explains that sunlight is decreasing, and she also reports that the analysis of the data on the KC-846 star is not a coincidence. Quickly, Sun Yang tries to contact the CEO of Helios, who had previously denied his findings. When they connect, the CEO accepts the reality, realizing that the sun will soon disappear as well. Feeling it's the end of the world, the CEO named Wang Yun provides his address to Sun Yang so they can gather and survive together. After that, Sun Yang looks for the nearest place to see the sun. Ilsa recommends the neighboring apartment with the best spot to view the sunrise. Sun Yang quickly knocks on his neighbor's door and breaks in. He opens the curtains and is shocked to see the sun starting to dim its light. His neighbor, Chen Mu, begins to panic and fear as well. Sun Yang returns to his room and analyzes what will happen to the Earth. Ilsa explains that the world's temperature will drop to zero degrees Fahrenheit within a week and to a negative 100 Fahrenheit within a year. Oxygen will gradually deplete, all living creatures will die, and the Earth will become a frozen planet. His neighbor, Chen Mu, who is unaware of the situation, follows Sun Yang to his room, seeking help because the signal on her phone has disappeared. Sun Yang explains that everything related to electricity will vanish because solar panels can no longer provide power. With his apathetic demeanor, Sun Yang instructs Chen Mu to leave and prepare to face reality. Afterward, Sun Yang goes to the convenience store to buy a map and food supplies before heading to Wang Yun's location. The surrounding conditions have become increasingly chaotic, where digital transaction methods are hindered due to a lack of signals. Luckily, Sun Yang has anticipated this by bringing cash. The escalating chaos causes people to change, caring only for themselves. Sun Yang becomes a target for robbery because he is found carrying cash at that moment. Upon arriving at the apartment, Sun Yang tends to his wounds and packs all the necessary items. Shortly after, Chen Mu arrives and keeps asking Sun Yang for help in contacting her family. Unfortunately, Sun Yang can't do anything for her. Shortly after that, Chen Mu reveals that she has a car but can't drive it. She invites Sun Yang to leave the apartment immediately because, at the same time, looting continues to happen everywhere. The two of them run, trying to reach the car before the looters chase them. When they reach the city center, the building lights start running out of power and go out suddenly. Sun Yang opens the map he bought earlier and begins planning their next destination. They struggle to read the map due to their lack of familiarity. But luckily, Ilsa can explain it to them. Chen Mu really wants to meet her parents in the west of District 2, but before that, they have to go to where Wang Yun is located. On the journey, Chen Mu's cheerful attitude slightly lightens the mood, although in the end, Sun Yang remains cold due to his apathetic demeanor. Shortly after, 
they stop at a rest area because Chen Mu needs to use the restroom. It briefly crosses Sun Yang's mind to leave Chen Mu behind, but he can't bring himself to do that to someone who has helped him. Upon arriving at Wang Yun's house, they meet another couple who have also come to visit. Shortly after that, Wang Yun appears warmly, welcoming everyone gathered at his house. They greatly respect Wang Yun because his company has provided solar power for many people. During their time together, they share stories and have drinks. In Wang Yun's narrative, he appears resigned to the current state of the earth. However, Sun Yang remains steadfast in his determination to survive. Shortly after, when the previous couple is about to continue their journey, Chen Mu, in her caring manner, gives them her coat because the outside conditions are very cold. In the middle of the night, Ilsa's power runs out and she ceases to function. Even though she's just a program, Sun Yang feels sadness, considering that Ilsa has been his only companion throughout his days. Fortunately, Chen Mu comes to console him, urging him to forget about life's troubles. The next day, Sun Yang asks Wang Yun to tell the truth about what is happening to the sun. Wang Yun explains that he knows about the disappearing star Qi 846 and is ready to disclose this news to the public. However, other Helios executives rejected it, claiming it was impossible for it to happen within the hologram simulation. Wang Yun received information about the sun steadily dimming, and his AI explained that the system predicted the arrival of a wormhole in the middle of the sun. This wormhole exhibited the same characteristics as the one that had swallowed the star Qi 846. Still, since Wang Yun lacked the authority to reveal this information, he was forced to lie when Sun Yang contacted him on television. As a freelance astronomer, Sun Yang is shocked because there should never have been a wormhole. However, that is the reality they are facing at the moment. Wang Yun provides an address in District 4, believing there is still a chance for survival there. Wang Yun also gives his mechanical wristwatch to Sun Yang to help him keep track of time. Wang Yun does all of this because Sun Yang has the spirit to continue surviving. After getting ready, Sun Yang and Chen Mu resume their journey in increasingly cold weather. During the journey, Chen Mu sees someone injured and asks Sun Yang to stop the car. Sun Yang doesn't respond and continues driving, thinking it would be futile since they don't have medicine to help them. Upon reaching Chen Mu's parents' house, Sun Yang reveals that he will continue his journey somewhere else. Sun Yang does not inform Chen Mu about District 4, which has a chance for survival. After leaving her, Sun Yang decides to return to Chen Mu. His apathetic attitude is slowly fading, and he becomes more considerate of others. Sun Yang reunites with Chen Mu, who appears sad as her parents tragically passed away during the looting. In a letter left by Chen Mu's parents, they express regret for not being able to be good parents to her amidst the chaos. They conveyed their apologies in the letter before looters arrived and took their lives. Witnessing this, Sun Yang can empathize with Chen Mu's feelings, as he too no longer has parents. Afterward, Sun Yang takes Chen Mu to District 4 for survival. During the journey, they are forced to stop due to Sun Yang's worsening leg injury. Chen Mu offers to drive and insists Sun Yang teach her on the spot. Despite initially refusing, Chen Mu persists because she cannot bear to see Sun Yang endure the pain while driving. Before long, Chen Mu becomes accustomed to driving. When Sun Yang fell asleep, Chen Mu mistakenly took the wrong turn, and they ended up in District 3. Chen Mu regretted the mishap, as it depleted the car battery in vain. Although initially irritated, Sun Yang changed his demeanor to be more composed and emotionally restrained. Sun Yang then took over the wheel, searching for a place to charge. Fortunately, they found a house providing electricity for survivors. In the house, they encountered an elderly couple who welcomed them warmly. When the family offered them water, Sun Yang became suspicious, thinking there might be poison in the drink. However, his assumption was incorrect. The family offered electricity to charge their car battery. Sun Yang continued to watch the elderly man as he charged his car, while Chen Mu went to the bathroom to wash her face with warm water. Chen Mu smiled happily at finding warm water, 
but soon realized they had fallen into a trap. The family attacked Sun Yang's legs and left with their car. This incident shattered Sun Yang's spirit, especially since he didn't know what opportunities awaited them in District 4, their intended destination. Chen Mu emphasized that if there was nothing left, at least they had tried, rather than waiting to die. Sun Yang returned to his decision and chose to continue the journey. In the darkness of the world, they walked together, enduring the cold weather. During a rest in the middle of the journey, they prepared instant noodles and enjoyed the beauty of the stars. After covering a considerable distance, they found Chen Mu's stolen car parked in an area that still had electricity. As they approached the car, they witnessed a group of people who had killed the elderly family. Shocked, they hid behind the car, and eventually Sun Yang sacrificed himself so that Chen Mu could continue the journey alone. Unable to leave Sun Yang behind, Chen Mu bravely decided to help him. The group gathered survivors to work in a coal-fired power plant, dreaming of reviving human civilization through this method. When their leader spoke about family and unity, Sun Yang questioned the fate of the elderly family they had previously killed. Feeling his authority threatened, the group's leader detained Sun Yang, and it was at that moment that Chen Mu arrived to rescue him. After attempting to escape, they successfully fled, using Chen Mu's car when the criminals started firing their guns. However, the shots hit Sun Yang, leaving him incapacitated. After struggling to survive in the midst of uncertainty, they were about to reach District 4. Sun Yang was surprised when he smelled sulfur, realizing it was geothermal energy that could sustain human life for billions of years. After leaving directions on a signboard, they continued their journey. However, their car's battery was insufficient to reach the destination. In their final moments, they had to rely on the remaining oxygen tanks. Prepared to face their fate together, they shared stories about how to spend the rest of their lives together. The cold weather and thinning oxygen gradually rendered them unconscious. Fortunately, a miracle enveloped them as a car approached from a distance and stopped after noticing something. They turned out to be a couple who had once been helped by Chen Mu, and the simple kindness she had shown became something profoundly meaningful. The couple moved them before continuing their journey to District 4. The film concluded with a radio broadcast explaining that the government was establishing a geothermal reserve and would soon provide underground homes for everyone. Earth had escaped its orbit, wandering through the vastness of interstellar space. Miraculously, based on its trajectory, Earth would arrive in the Alpha Centauri star system where a new sun awaited. And that's it for the story series of this film. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.